okay so today's session uh, related to that uh, newton second law only so how we have to understand so little bit uh, typical topic is there and you have to understand and do you you only have to give the answer okay or now yes sir okay now calculation of force in different cases now generally tell me again what is a force general definition you have to give what is a force sir a push or pull right a push or pull which can change the state of an object is known as what force force can change the state of an object from rest to motion or from motion to rest and what will be the equation for a force force equals to mass into acceleration very good mass into acceleration apart from that tell me what is other uh, uh, equation for a force what is other equation for a force quickly first equation you said uh, f is equal to ma apart from that what you can write for f change in momentum by time change in time delta p by delta t or else f is equal to you can write mv minus mu by t so you can write different equations like this or else f is equal to m common v minus u by t same equation only so but in a different form we are writing so all these are different equations now we are writing or we are going to learn about few equation for the forces in a different cases so one of the case which we are learning is related to the liquids fluids now do you know what is a fluid what is a fluid arnav bhumika sahas milan give answers what is a fluid what do you mean by fluid and give me examples for fluids is a liquid which can flow by itself bhumika only liquid liquid means fluid air or any other gases will not be there in it arnav can you speak milan and sahas at least you have to give response in the form of message milan and sahas give me as a messages milan tell me what do you mean by fluid what do you know regarding to fluid sahas you are there you are listening if you are listening at least type so you have to give answers sahas so milan also writing it is a liquid so fluid means the substances which are having the property of flowingness so but gases also flow very good so gases also will flow from one point to the another point that's why fluids means what liquids and gases but here particularly you are going to learn about calculation of force for a liquid only here okay right now uh, read once what is there uh, in a slide arnav
अर्नव इफ वॉटर डज नॉट बाउंस बैक दैट इज इट फॉल्स डेड और ड्रॉप्स डेड आफ्टर स्ट्राइकिंग द वॉल देन द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड ऑन द वॉल इज वेरी गुड सी हियर नाउ सपोज ए वॉटर इज कमिंग लाइक दिस एंड इट इज हिटिंग द वॉल नाउ हियर वॉल इज देयर सॉरी हियर वॉल इज देयर एंड वॉटर इज कमिंग लाइक दिस and when water is hitting this particular uh, wall definitely this fluid will exert some force on this and how much force will be exerted on this particular wall that is given directly here uh, formula a b square d where a is area of cross section of that particular tube in which that uh, water is flowing now observe carefully here one tube is there from that tube water flows out and it is hitting the wall and area of cross section of this particular tube is a whereas d is the density of the liquid and v is the velocity so how we can get this equation f is equal to av square d observe carefully this equation is there f is equal to av square d what is f force a means area of cross section v means velocity of uh, this liquid and d is density of this particular liquid how we'll get this equation can anybody explain how we got this equation how we got this equation or now can you explain no sir okay so let me explain about this particular equation and after that whatever the equations are there you have to understand them like this okay are now yes sir okay so all of you listen carefully so as uh, you other are in uh, listening mode only so you have to listen carefully and uh, you have to Say whatever uh, you know regarding to it, or you have to give a response at least whether you understood it or not. Okay. So again, tell me, Arna, uh, what is the equation for a force? Sir? Force. Force equals to m. Force is equal to m a. M a. So M A means what? A means what? I can write rate of change v of v minus u upon t. Ah, uh, v minus u upon t. You can write. That means a change of momentum, no? And I yes, can write sir. that change of momentum in a mathematical terms as d by d t of what? M V. now do you know what is uh, d by dt generally in mathematics what we say delta not delta so generally d by dt will be called differentiation what it will be called differentiation and in your mathematics one more also will be there which is called integration so two different mathematical operations will be there and this is one kind of a mathematical operation which is called differentiation so differentiation means what which of the value is changing with respect to to what that it uh, says generally suppose if i write uh, one mathematical expression like this dx by dt it means that the x value will change with respect to to which physical quantity Or which term? T term. So suppose if I say like this, the position of an object is changing with respect to time. So position will be explained with x, whereas t denotes actually time. So with the change in time, if x also changes, we write dx by dt. So if suppose if I write like this, d by dt of Seven. Seven means what? Seven means what? Constant. 
it is a constant it is a number okay it is a number so whether number value will change generally no sir uh, so when it is not changing what will be the differentiation value what is the differentiation value so i don't know differentiation na na it is not changing it is remaining constant so as it is not changing differentiation value final value minus initial value finally 7 initial also will be 7 only so that means no change when no change is there what you write zero you write okay yes sir understood no if any number is there any constant from f equals to mv minus u upon t from here f upon sorry f is equal to m into v yes, minus u by t from this sir yes sir okay now i'll write here now f is equal to mv minus mu final momentum minus initial momentum by time only no yes sir so that means uh, change in what is there momentum is there so change in momentum is there with respect to what time time okay so that's why i can write like this d of momentum is nothing but mv by with respect to what it is changing with respect to time it is changing so that's why we can write f is equal to d by dt of mv is it clear or not yes sir okay that means either change in velocity will be there or change in mass will be there or both can change isn't it yes sir okay but while deriving the newton's second law of motion we can observe that m will be written as a constant value but in this particular case tell me what is the mass of the fluid which is striking the wall what is the mass of the fluid which is striking the wall can you write directly or now can we write directly yes sir how calculate the mass and tell me suppose in a time t some uh, fluid uh, let me give a diagram clear suppose here uh, one pipe is there and from this pipe liquid is coming and that liquid is hitting the wall here and it is hitting the wall with a velocity v now some mass of uh, fluid is coming from this that means water is coming and how much mass will uh, hit this particular fluid sorry wall can you able to say 5 kg 10 kg 20 kg how you can say it no sir you can't say directly so you have to find out that value and here in this particular case velocity will not change why velocity will not change fluid comes with some velocity and uh, with that velocity here uh, that particular uh, water is hitting and it is not rebouncing back it is there at this particular position only water is there here only so that is the condition here if water does not bounces back that means that uh, water drops are false dead that means uh, water drops will be in a stationary state after hitting this they are not coming back in that condition we are deriving the what equation so that's why here whatever velocity is there and that velocity will remain constant so that's why velocity will be kept constant and what will change how much mass is hitting it that will change so that's why we write equation like this in this case so what equation we can write f is equal to dm by dt into v so dm by dt means what rate of change of mass so how much mass is changing with respect to to time so that is case actually so we have to find out this mass how much mass of fluid is coming and hitting and in order to 
calculate that let us start from the starting point of the pipe and from this pipe initial point let us consider up to the end of this particular pipe the length is l what is the length here l is the length of the pipe and from here liquid starts flowing and it is coming here and it is hitting here and how much mass comes and hit that we are going to find out and in order to find out it we are using one equation and that equation generally called density so do you know what is the density do you know what is density do you know what is density arnav do you know what is the density arnav do you know what the is the density mass per unit volume ha huh? mass per unit volume very good so density is equal to mass per unit volume mass by volume suppose if i want to find out mass mass is equal to what i have to write density into volume okay now mass is equal to density d volume means what tell me what is volume or now tell me what is volume or now so volume volume means what tell me general equation for the volume general equation for the volume sir i don't know anyone mass per unit volume bhumika okay generally volume is nothing but length into breadth into height for a what uh, you sir you uh, said value not volume volume only i am saying sir mass volume. is equal to density into volume i am asking you what is the equation for volume not value how can i say value volume i am saying sir but what you are saying is equal to value so huh? your pronunciation okay okay so now uh, tell me volume volume equation sir of a cube of a cube the length into breadth into height very good length into breadth into height what i can write for length into breadth yes sir tell me what i can write for length into breadth sir area very good so mass is equal to density into volume for volume i am writing equation like this can i write like this or not tell me a into l a means area l means length so if i multiply area with the length or height will you get volume or not you will get volume or not so area into height ha uh, area into height or area into length also area means length into breadth is there and sab yes. other length must be there or not for a cube yes sir so that length we are writing so a into l is nothing but volume so mass is equal to density into area into length can we write it or not in case of m yes sir right so now i am writing equation like this f is equal to d by dt of only m is changing and what is the value of uh, m density a into l into what i said v remains constant so that's why v i am writing okay the differentiation of a 
differentiation of A, differentiation of B, differentiation of L. So you have to write with respect you to what? Time. I said D by DT or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm writing on top here. So let me write here top. So now F is equal to whether density of the liquid will change with respect you to time. Whether density no, will change sir. or not. So density no, will not change. So I am writing as it is. Area will change. Uh, area of the pipe will change with respect you to time. Area also will not change with respect you to time. Velocity as it is remaining constant we are writing V. And what will change generally the length of the fluid flowing will change. It may come from uh, sorry. It may come from here or it may come from here or it may come from here. So whatever the fluid which is hitting it, it may come from here, it may come from here or it may come from here. So that means length of this fluid will be different. So that's why I wrote what here dl by dt. So length is different dl by dt I wrote. So f is equal to same density I am writing as it is. A also I am writing as it is. V also I am writing as it is. So dl by dt actually L means length or else you can write a distance also. So dx by dt and dx by dt is what actually velocity. So into velocity. So now observe carefully A as it is V into V, V, v square into D. So force is equal to what is the equation? A V square D. That only given here or not? That is only given here or not? Or now? Yes sir. Okay. Now in this way we have to calculate. So it is a bit uh, typical to understand but you have to remember equation directly. Okay. Yes. If, if water does not bounce back, it is coming from some pipe and hitting the wall and then the force exerted by the water on the wall will be how much? A V square D. This equation you have to remember. Okay. Yes, sir. 